All right, hey guys, it's Nicole, AKA Addicted to Yarn, and this is the second time that I'm doing this video. I accidentally deleted it the last time. So yeah, that was fun, but I'm really excited. Okay, so this video is going to be regarding the 21 in 21, the hashtag 21 in 21 carousel box, and it was started by Mama Swift, who is Trisha, and it was a great package. I got it a couple days ago, and what we're gonna do is, it's going to like 20 or 30 people. It's started in Southern California, where Trisha lives, and she already sent it to one person in California who sent it to me. I am sending it off to a mystery recipient, and it is gonna go eventually to Israel, and Alaska, and Canada, and I am so excited to see all the videos. We all committed to making a video while it was uh, at our house before we send it off. And so, uh, yes, I'm very excited to see um, the other people's videos and what they ended up pulling out of it. So I pulled out a certain number of items and then I in turn filled the package with that many items. I replaced all the items that I took out. And so I want to show you what I pulled out. So the first thing was this book, Crochet with Color. It's a really nice book. Um, there was a couple pot holders in here I liked, a couple colorful, fun scarves. Most of them were mesh that I like, like open work. I like this, and I even think this would be fun as a wrap. It's got little pom-poms on the end. How could you not love that? There's also some lacy coasters. I mean, really simple projects, but it's nice sometimes just to have a book that you can flip to and find something that you want to make for a gift very quickly. So you don't have to like go hunting or, oh, plus I really like this bag, right? How cute and fun and happy is it? I could totally see myself be bopping around in this. Yes. Hubby, will, hubby would definitely make fun of me, just like he does with my project bag. Ugh. He calls it a diaper bag all the time. I like to call it my bag of tricks because it pretty much has everything that I ever need in it, crafty-wise. So yes, first thing I got out was this book, patterns that I like in it. Definitely a good quality book, so it's really nice. I was impressed. Second thing I pulled out was, ta-da! The, oh, this, look at how cool that is, interchangeable crochet hooks. I've always been curious about these. Whenever I go on Amazon to look for crochet supplies, I always, these always catch my eye. I've always wanted to have one. And it goes from an H to an M, to a 10 millimeter. And I'll show you how it works. So you get one hook and you get one of the little bases. I haven't done this yet, so let's see. And then you just screw it right on. And voila! Isn't that cool? And it feels like, I don't know, it feels really sturdy and it's not too heavy. So anyways, I thought this was a pretty good, pretty good item. So I pulled this out, excited to use it and play with it. This was my second item. My third, I don't know. Losing my little thingy here. Okay. My third item is this. It's a roll of stickers, and the stickers say homemade with love. Handmade with? Homemade with love. So I think it's really cool because whenever we do a craft and we want to give it as a gift, we can wrap it in tissue paper, put one of these on the outside, and I just think it's a nice touch. It's a little detail. And there's 500 of these. So this was a really cool thing, I thought to put in a swap box. I never would have thought of it. And that's what I liked is it wasn't just yarn. They were, there were things that have, most of the stuff has to do with yarn, but, um, or our craft, should I say, but not everything. And so I really think that the people that put stuff in before me were really thoughtful. And so anyways, this is really great. Um, the next thing I pulled out, was a hook case. Right? How cool is this? And look at it, it's so cute on the out, right? It's so cute on the outside too. So I got a case, it has pockets galore and spaces to put all your notions. 
So I'm really looking forward to using this to go in my diaper bag. So I think you fill it up and then you just wrap the, the rope around and give it a tie and you're all organized. So that is the next thing I pulled out. Uh, the next couple of things were yarn. I got this, I had never heard of this before. It's Lion Brand Fay, and it's 100% cotton. It's 360 yards, and the color is like a tan in the middle, and a little bit of a darker cream to a light cream. And um, there was three of them. And when they were in the bag like this, it only counts as one item. So it's totally enough to make a, a wearable three, six, nine, like over a thousand yards, right? So this is a pretty cool, sorry, that light is very hot in here tonight. So yeah, this will, I'm really excited to play with this. And it's, it's pretty soft. Yeah, this definitely would want to be some kind of top or at least like a shawl or something drapey. Okay, the other yarn that I got out, I, I got that yarn and then I also got this yarn. This yarn is in a different language. So there's not a whole lot of information that I have, but somebody did write that it is 48% um, cotton, 36% rayon, and 16% hemp. The, it's Keto Zaka Stores. And it looks like it's probably a one. I mean, it's pretty, pretty fine. But again, I don't have a lot of neutral colors. Um, so this is, this is nice to have in my stash. So it's a lot softer than I would think of normally when I hear hemp. I usually think of kind of a little bit on the rougher side than normal cotton, but this just, this feels like a cotton, a fine cotton, one weight yarn. So there were three of these. One, two, three of these. So I'm also gonna have this in my stash to play with. And finally, there were two items that I found that Trisha put in for um, my daughters and I to play with together. The first, how cute are these? Christmas stickers, Christmas forest sticker book. And it's got really cute little animals and they're so shiny and we like to make cards and we like to put stickers on gifts and stuff. So this will be really, really handy this Christmas. So that was very thoughtful of our Trishy. And the last thing that she popped in there, because she knows that since we homeschool, we like to, um, we love learning about nature and animals, even when it's not school, just like every day, we like to learn about um, all different things. Sorry, my mind blanked out for a second there, but yeah. Science is, it never ends. School never ends when you're homeschooling because you're always wanting to learn. And so this is um, a book about color, I'm trying to read it, coloring Southern California butterflies and caterpillars. And it talks about all the different, it has pictures of all the different kinds of butterflies at the end. It tells a little something about each one individually. And then of course, it has these really cool pictures that we can color and it has their names at the bottom and it has their Latin name at the bottom as well. So pretty cool, right? Like fun, but also educational. So that was really sweet of Trisha. So that is it for what I pulled out. I'm really excited to see who gets what I put in there. Um, I put in things that I as a crafter would enjoy taking out or even just as a person. And I know all these people because um, we are a pretty tight knit group. Uh, it's the Zoom fam. And so, yeah, I, I know them. And so I have a feeling they're going to like what I put in there. And I can't wait to see everybody's videos. So I hope that you liked this little show and tell of what I popped out of the carousel box. And it's leaving my house tomorrow, headed somewhere. So be on the lookout for the next video with this hashtag. Um, 21 and 21 carousel package. So thank you very much for watching. I'm about to make a podcast right now. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.